good morning students so class 10 students let's do chapter number 2 from your supplementary reader footprints without feet and the name of the chapter is the thief's story okay now you can open your books and we shall start chapter number 2 well before i begin before i begin reading the chapter let me discuss let me introduce the chapter to you Actually, this is a story that is dealing with the revamp of a thief. This story deals with a valuable relationship between a common normal human being and a thief. Two unknown people come together at the level of strength and bond, a big bond that unites the two, that a chief could think of leading a respectable life. He learnt how to cook, how to read and write. Now, how do these changes come in his life? Whether he values these sort of things more than his profession of stealing the things? This is the most important uh, part of this story. This is the essence of the story. Whether he wants to live a dignified life or the life that is filled that is uh, uh, filled with all sorts of disrespect, all sorts of um, blames by the people, all sorts of indignities. Now it also depends whether the thief respects the faith that one lies in. This is all. So the theme of the story is that it, this story tells us that how a thief changes his life and a thief changes into a good man. The center point of the story is Hari Singh. Hari Singh who is a thief. Hari Singh who is a thief and he is just 15 years old and uh, during a wrestling match he meets a gentleman of 25 years Hari Singh. And what happens later in his life? He steals. He steals his money. The purpose for which he had developed relationship, friendship with him. He begged work. Whether his life could, could be changed. How his life changed rather, we shall read in the story. So, dear students, be ready for that. Let us read this story for ourselves. Open the page. Well, students, open the book. Ah, that's good. Let's read now. First of all, we shall go through this particular stuff. A young boy makes friends with Anil. Anil trusts him completely and employs him. Does he betray his trust? Boy, Hari Singh. He begs job at Anil. Anil, reposing faith in him, gives him job. What happens actually? Whether he respects the trust that Anil lies in, Anil has in him? Read the story first of all. But before that, there are some questions which the uh, writer wants us to uh, go through. The writer is... Ruskin Bond, a well-known writer, Ruskin Bond. First is, who does I refer to here in the story? I shall ask you these questions after reading this particular segment. Okay? But do keep these questions in your mind always. Okay? What is he a fairly successful hand at? Means, he is expert at something. What is that particular thing? What does he get from Anil in return for his work right these three questions we are to answer later on i'm starting reading i was still a thief when i met anil and though only 15 i was i was an experienced and fairly successful hand what does it mean experienced and fairly successful hand means i was in expert thief 
I was an expert. Expert thief. Right? Anil was watching a wrestling match when I approached him. He was about 25. A tall, lean fellow. And he looked easy going. Easy going? Just like a very normal, normal common human being who doesn't take the thing seriously. Right? Very kind and very simple enough for my purpose. For my purpose, my purpose was to approach him and to get a job. And later, ditch him by an act of stealing. And this was my job. This was my purpose, basically. I hadn't had much luck of late. Means, I had never been so much lucky in the past. Whereas my thieves' uh, action, my acts of thieves were con uh, of uh, thievery were concerned. And still, enough for my purpose. I hadn't had much luck of late and thought I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. I had only one purpose. How I should get the man's confidence means how I should introduce myself to him and get his trust. This was my main purpose. And he said, I said, Oh, you look a bit of a wrestler yourself. I said, A little flattery helps in making friends. I was a bit flatterer. Flatterer? Sycophant. Sycophant, you understand? Chop loose. Yes? The same word. You look a bit of wrestling yourself. You have a good body, my dear. Oh, so do you, he replied. Which put me off for a moment. Because that time I was rather thin. I thought he was just making fun of me. Which put me off. Which put me off. Which surprised me. Because I was a very thin boy. Even thinner than him. Well, I said modestly. Very modestly. What do you mean by this word? Modestly. Modestly stands for very softly. Right? I do wrestle a bit. Uh, sometimes I do. What's your name? He asked. Hari Singh. I lied. Means my name was something else. But I replied. I lied to him. Hari Singh. I took a new name every month. Why? Because basically he was a thief and he wanted to conceal, he wanted to hide his reality, his identity. Right? That kept me ahead of the police and my former employers. Uh, it was my job to ditch, to deceive my employers. I worked somewhere, I uh, stole something from there, I ran off and police police even could not trace me because I often changed my name, my identity. After this introduction, Anil talked about the well-oiled wrestlers who were grunting. What do you mean by this word grunting? Grunting stands for making low guttural sound. <coughs> Such sort of guttural sounds. You always do. These wrestlers always keep on doing so. Yes, come on, do it. Such sort of sounds they were being created. Who were grunting, lifting and throwing each other about. Right? I didn't have much to say. Anil walked away. I followed casually. I didn't want to uh, just miss this chance. Hello again, he said. I gave him my most appealing smile. Most attractive smile. Uh, sir, I want to work for you. Simply he requested. I requested rather. I said. But uh, I can't pay you. Who said? Anil. Yes. Anil said. But I can't pay you. I thought that over for a minute. Means if he does not have money. What's the purpose of? What's, the, uh, what, what's my use working with him? Perhaps I had misjudged my man. I had <laughs> misjudged the target. I had... Talked, I was talking to a person who himself appears to be poor. How would I take advantage of him? I asked. Can you feed me? Uh, can you cook? In reply he asked. Yes, I can cook. I lied again because I didn't know how to cook. If you can cook, then maybe I can feed you. He took me to his room over the... It... Uh, 
Page next. Yes. There. There he started. He took me to his room over, over the Jimna sweet shop where he used to live and told me that I could sleep on the balcony. But the meal I cooked that night oh, must have been terrible because Anil gave it to a stray dog. What do you mean by stray dog? Stray dog, the dog who just runs here and there, who does not have his honor, right? Street dog, you can see. He gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off. He just show me off, go away. But I just hung around, hung around. What do you mean by hung around? I just did not leave the side of his. I remained with him. Smiling in my most appealing way. Again, this word comes appealing means attractive. And he couldn't help laughing. He couldn't help laughing. What do you mean by this phrase couldn't help you? You know, this is a very important phrase. So many times you will find it. Couldn't help means can't control. Yes, it means can't control over something means I could not control over my laughing. Later, he patted me, patted, he tapped my head or tapped my back on me, on the head rather, and said, never mind, he would teach me how to cook. He was such a gentle fellow. The purpose for he was kept, for he was given the job. Hari Singh didn't know the even an inch of it right so he said okay no problem I would make you learn how to cook he also taught me to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write a whole sentences and to add numbers I was grateful oh my god he was of a great help to me he he taught me how to read how to write and read I was a totally illiterate fellow. I knew, I knew that once I could write like an educated man, there would be no limit to what I could achieve. Means if I knew how to, if I know how to learn, how to, how to write and read, suddenly that is going to help me in my, in my purpose, purpose of stealing. I would be more efficient. I would be an efficient thief, right? More efficient thief. Next. It was quite pleasant working for Anil. I made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the day's supplies. Day supplies, essential things that are, that are to be bought from the market. Usually making a profit of about a rupee a day. I think he knew I made a little money this way, but he did not seem to mind. How did I make the money? I often, I often saved one uh, 10 paise, 20 paise from each bargain, from each transaction that I made. And in this way, I could earn one rupee per day. Right? Now, come to page number. 10. Okay, turn over. Anil made money by fits and starts. Fits and starts by this or the other transaction. Here and there. He would borrow one week, lend the next. He would borrow one week, lend the next. He kept worrying about his next check. Look. Fits and starts basically means his work was not regular. Two days he used to work and for the next five days he was totally vacant. He did not have any work. That was what, that was what called fits and starts. He would borrow one week means he had to, he was absolutely empty. His pockets were absolutely empty one week but the next day, next week his pockets were so much filled that he was able to lend even. He kept worrying about 
he kept worrying about his next check when it would come but soon as soon as it arrived he would go out and celebrate it seemed he wrote for magazines a queer a queer way to make a living what do you mean by this word queer queer stand for very strange queer stand for strange okay a strange way for a living one evening he came okay queer means strange uh, uh just a little guy uh, there is a spelling mistake yes i do i write it again s t r a n g e s t r a n g e strange okay queer stand for strange one evening he came home with a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book for a publisher to a publisher at night i saw him tuck the money tuck means put the money i saw i saw him tuck the money tuck means put the money under the mattress i had been working for anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping had not done anything in my line of work line of work what was his line of work yes stealing i had every opportunity for doing so anil had given me a key to the door and i could come and go as i pleased he was the most trusting person i had ever met now this is the most important point anil had so much faith in hari singh that he even handed him over the key to the room and he could go and come any time such a trust he had reposed in he had reposed in hari singh and hari singh also had never experienced such a person in life and that is why it was so difficult to rob him rob him to steal money from him it's easy to rob it's easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed now this is a very important line it is easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed but it is difficult to rob a careless man sometimes he doesn't even notice that he has been robbed and then at that takes all the pleasure out of the work oh my god if a greedy man is robbed he keeps every account of the money that he has that he possesses suppose if only a coin of 2 rupees falls from his pocket he immediately realizes and expresses his grief over it but a careless man if you take even a 100 rupee note from his from his pocket he would not even mind why because he never realizes and hari singh says there is no charm in stealing such a person because he does not realize it and that's it this is really a funny thing sometimes he doesn't even notice that he has been robbed and that takes all the pleasure out of the work pleasure out of the work he never finds any enjoyment well it's time i did some real work i told myself i am out of practice and if i don't take the money he will only waste it on friends after all he does not even pay me that's good since i decided that i would really take the money because if he didn't he would spend the money elsewhere so here i uh finish the chapter for today i'll do some question answers with you after that